Well, 12.17 is the time. Live look outside in Jacksonville. Free to fountain for us this afternoon. The flag's not quite flapping as hard as they have been here in the days past, but the skies aren't quite as blue either. We are tracking some high mid-level clouds across the area. Those more west southwesterly breezes. Yesterday we had them pretty much straight out of the southwest is what we're watching across the area this afternoon. And we're between about 10 to 15 miles an hour, some gust up to 20. But that direction is taking that smoke from that wildfire in the Holly Shelter uh, area. Area back across areas like Sneeds Ferry, uh, you know, kind of smell that smoke, especially in around Jacksonville, and that's carrying all the way in through, say, Swansboro, Atlantic Beach, Moorhead City, Havelock, even smelling some of that smoke in the air. And you'll notice that plume of smoke gets even thicker now. It's up to 2,000 acres with that fire. So we're going to continue to see that, especially across the uh, coastal areas of Onslow and Carteret County, and then kind of filtering further inland. Those west southwesterly winds continue to keep that smoke going through the day tomorrow. Now, if lucky later tonight, and especially during the day tomorrow, we'll get some showers and storms in this area to kind of cut that smoke production down a little bit and also help extinguish the fire itself. But we have been tracking to see these high thin clouds working their way through the area as we speak right now. Few spotty sprinkles northern Duplin County back in towards, say, uh, Martin and Green County. Not out of the question that one or two of these could be hitting the ground, but a lot of this again is fairly high cloud cover across the area where the sun is out like in Havelock. We're near that 90 degree mark 88 coming in in Washington. A little bit more cloud cover there. Greenville and Windsor slightly cooler temperatures, but the dew points that's how we measure the moisture in the atmosphere that's remaining into the upper 60s and 70s, and this is pretty much where it has been practically since the Independence Day holiday weekend. So when you factor the temperature and that in, it feels like the mid 90s out there for us this afternoon. We've got two fronts that we're watching. The first one's dropping south through Richmond, Virginia, or the eastern shore of Maryland. This is the second one. This is the one that really has the nice, refreshing air coming behind it. And this is what we're going to see pass through the area later tomorrow afternoon. So just some isolated showers at best as we go through the afternoon hours today. Notice that once we get past sunset again, like we saw last night, that first front touching off those storms north of Highway 64. Those storms will be across the area late tonight through the early morning hours tomorrow. That's the first front. Now we watch that second front start to move in here mid to late afternoon. So you'll notice in between there's going to be a little bit of a gap with a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through that second front passes to the south. We dry the atmosphere out and we're talking nice and refreshing temperatures down into low to mid 60s start off Saturday and Sunday morning. Plenty of sunshine around and notice a fairly consistent temperatures in the upper 80s at best as we go in through the early part of next week.